there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade summer edition. So after the literal whirlwind of final season of my third year of uni, I spent most of May jumping between places. I was lucky enough to go on that trip to Cambodia, I visited friends in Kosovo, but wow, I'm so tired now. And for me, summer is always such an important time to reset, rest, reflect, and come back to working from a healthy place. Working not because I'm scared of not meeting deadlines, but because I genuinely want to work. I have some really exciting projects I'm working on this summer, which I can work on from anywhere and when I was thinking about how I could make this summer my dream summer I knew I had to go back to the city which has my heart. I studied in Berlin for over a year, I have a bunch of friends in the city and some of them kindly offered to host me for most of June and July. Let's go start my dream summer. Now that is beautiful. myself falling back into beloved patterns from my study abroad semesters. I work in the same cafes and co-working spaces. I go back and eat the dreamy food that I've missed. I reminisce old memories and meet old friends from the city. It's so weird having so many memories in a place and yet you're living in a new time period. Some of my bestest friends from uni aren't here, but being in places we used to go to together reminds me so much of them. My mum messaged me that tonight is a full moon and it's not just any full moon, it marks half a year of full moons. I'm going to go reflect on this year so far, I'm going to see what went well, what kind of energy I want to carry into the next six months. And the weather's so beautiful. I'm in my little slider Birkenstocks going to have dinner on my own after having done yoga in the apartment by myself. I literally haven't spoken to anyone all day. I'm feeling very antisocial, but not in a bad antisocial way, just in a, I want to spend some time with myself kind of way. Alone, but not lonely. <laughs> Victim. My friend who I live with right now works most of the day, so I spend a lot of time by myself. Sometimes I get in my own head too much. I go on social media and compare myself to others and feel FOMO and lose some of my contentment. Or I overthink the pressure of having online platforms. Or I think about my relationships or the state of the world. 
but most of the time I also like it. It gives me space to explore where I want to explore, to exist as I want to exist, and to work on my relationship with myself. Also not oops, I'm so excited to read this. <laughs> Look at this bread my friend made me. attempt to slice it. <laughs> ah. Luscious! Oh, I want to try the bread. Six films, two animations, and a two animations. Longer short films by me, it's called My Name, and there are two short films by Sunjun. One is called How to Make Kimchi, and the one, other one is called Are You From North or South? Um, mm -hmm. And one documentary by... And documentary by Vivi, who's yeah. also here! Woo! It's called Carmen, it's about a Chinese opera singer in Cuba, and it was made in 2020. Before the pandemic. Mm. Yes. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Thank you. Mr. Jack a good night oh my gosh i love having talented creative friends we watched six different films from asian filmmakers they explored themes like the asian american experience the experience of having both an english name and a chinese name what it's like to be a first generation immigrant and like wondering about like when your parents die how do you hold on to that culture and that part of yourself even though you've never actually lived in the place where your parents are from like it was just super interesting and then afterwards there were some discussions and the people who went it was just such a random group of people of like friends of friends of friends of friends 
and I only knew one person who was a filmmaker um, who goes to my university. But I made friends, it's all good. We just chilled in Trap Tower Park. We just had like a cute drink, talked about life, got to know people. Oh my God, there's one girl and she's from the Netherlands and <sighs> I just, oh, I love Dutch people. <laughs> and now i'm gonna get an uber because safety matters i'm currently on the road but yeah i love nights like this yay Mm-hmm. <laughs> 